Changing anything about your cell phone service can at times be a challenge, especially for one Tulsa area small business owner who was out thousands of dollars. He called 2 News Oklahoma problem solver Pete Knutson for help. He thought he had connected to a great deal. Brendan McKnight was looking to upgrade four cell phones for his small construction company. They had me hook, line, and sinker. Brendan says he had service with AT&T for years and over the phone was offered $4,000 of trade-in value for those devices. Everything was great. I was very excited. Brendan says he spent two and a half hours on that phone call verifying and re-verifying, confirming and reconfirming every aspect of the deal the AT&T rep offered. Once she notified me, she sent me to the supervisor. The supervisor said, okay, whatever deal you made with her is good. We'll sign off on it. Uh, so I, in good faith, thought everything was great. Soon, though, it seemed as if a wrecking ball hit Brendan's plan to upgrade his construction company's phones when he turned in his old ones at an AT&T store and talked to a manager. They informed me that the phones were only worth $2,300. Instead of the $4,000 trade-in value, Brendan says he was promised on that long, detailed phone call. It was recorded call, so they should be able to check that. Uh, he said, that's too bad, that's not the deal that we have. So Brendan says he decided to return those new phones immediately, making sure he kept the receipt for the return. But Brendan's issues didn't end there. They continued to charge me for the phones, uh, and this has been going on for six months. Charges of more than $300 every month for service on those four new lines he never used. All the while, Brendan was still using and paying for his original AT&T service. It's extremely frustrating, and, and what compounds it is that every time I call in at an 800 number, I have to start over, tell the same story. It's someone brand new. Then he finally received a bill for $4,600. During those 60 hours of calls with AT&T, Brendan says he was told they hadn't received those return phones in time, and he still needed to pay for the new service he had agreed to. I spoke to a supervisor. He said, sorry, that's just how it is. You're stuck in it now. As Brendan told us his story, he feared his original service would be cut off because of those past due bills, which he was disputing without success. So we contacted AT&T. It took some time, but Brendan says the charges for those new phones he returned were reversed, and he got a refund of $1,000 for that new service he never used. AT&T told us this was not an acceptable customer experience, and it did not meet our standards of customer service. We have corrected the customer's account and apologized to him for the inconvenience. I can't imagine how many other people go through something like this, but the amount of stress and anxiety were really at their mercy. In the end, Brendan canceled his service and took his business to another company. Pete Knutson, 2 News Oklahoma, Problem Solvers. Experts say whenever possible, get every aspect of the deal in writing. But in Brendan's case, he says AT&T reps on the phone told him they can't give any offers they make in writing, not even an email or text. They say they can notate the customer's account, but there's no way for a customer to verify that information.